And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sultai mid-range. All right, so this deck here is our first of three that we're going to be playing today that are 5-0 uh, decks from Magic Online. We're doing 5-0 Friday. So these are three interesting lists that um, I wanted to try out. You know, like this one, the Sultai mid-range deck has a lot of different cards in it. In the past, I'm not sure if I really, like, I really love having, like, Paradise Druid, Grow Spiral, you know, like, these two, like, these kind of cards you really want to play on turn two and ramp, but then also Thought Erasure, another card you really want to play on turn two, and that gets worse later on in the game. So, like, we have, we have a lot of cards that are, like, what you want to be doing on turn three, but then they get worse later on in the game. You know, you play a Paradise Druid later on, it's not nearly as powerful as it is on turn two, kind of. Same thing with these other cards. So there's a little bit of tension between ramp and discard in that uh, respect. Uh, but yeah, this one had like uh, had those. It has a full four copies of Uro in here. And then, you know, like we're ramping up to Casualties of War, four of those, and four Hydroid Crisis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just an interesting list. So I want to try this out. Uh, we're going to be playing four matches in ranked. That's what we're going to be doing with these next three decks. We're playing four matches with each one. And um, we just had a, it's a brand new rank day, like the, the rankings reset. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll uh, kind of be going up from, I don't know, Diamond or whatever you go to after, after Mythic. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting looking list. And so we're kind of trying out some, some new stuff here. So here we go. Let's play some Sultai midrange in traditional standard ranked. And then we'll have Esper Control. I know y'all have been wanting to see, uh, Esper, there's a lot of y'all been wanting to see Esper Control, like y'all on YouTube and everything. And then we'll have a Golgari midrange, which is a food deck, but it has like Pelucranos and Wildborn Preserver and Shadow Spear in the main. It looked pretty interesting. So yeah, so this is kind of what I mean. It's like, do we? So obviously, I'll go get, I'll go get Swamp here. But then, do we Thought Erasure or Paradise Druid? Um, if I don't Thought Erasure, they can play Nissa next turn. So I, I feel like I need to Thought Erasure to take Nissa. Huh. I don't know how I'm, how am I dealing with Thassa? I can't even kill Thassa. I can at least use Casualties of War to destroy the Nissa. Do I have anything in my deck that deals with with Thassa? Ashiok Nightmare Muse, I guess. Hmm. It's a really tough call. I want to take Nissa. I'm going to do that. But it could be difficult to deal with the Thassa. I mean, no, they, they cast Nissa next turn. Like, if I don't take Nissa, they cast Nissa. And then it, it could be like it like Nissa could just kill me before I get to actually cast casualties of war. We're a long ways away from that. Well this worked out. We get to take Thassa now also. out like the phases of the moon 
All right, what do I want? Krasis? Let me aid your research. I'll probably be just picking up that Ashiok again. If I had another land and I knew I could grow a spiral into Ashiok, I would do that, but I definitely want to get Ashiok in play. Well, I guess we could have. Um... Alright, we'll get rid of it. the other Uro. Have a little bit of information before I name anything with. Tamio. Which I guess is probably just another crisis or or another casualties of war. Seek and find. And really my like my big cards is four casualties, four crisis. There's like one Garrick, two Golgari Queen. Just not, you know, not too likely that I'm hitting either of those. Ah, it was crisis. <laughs> Ooh, that's big. Getting rid of agent of treachery. Pretty big. <laughs> Exile some stuff. Land, land. No, spells. Yeah, spells. Endrace Forerunners. So I'll just minus seven Ashiok next turn and take the Endrace Forerunners. So we'll tick up. The shadows Put Garrick away. back into our hand. The story and I still have Growth Spiral or Tyrant Scorn if I need it. You ever listen to <clears throat> Wow, they've just top decked land after land after land. Give him another Uro. Nice. Nice enough. Let's 
Sees more of their cards since they're not conceding. I said resolve all. And still just a whole bunch of lands. Negative four to one. All right, so what do we want to do? Ritual sits good against mana creatures. But I also have mana creatures. Dispute can counter some stuff. Remorse can get rid of some more things. Same with Epic Downfall. Ethergust seems good too. All I mean, everything in my sideboard actually looks kind of decent. Should I take out Paradise Druid and play Soot instead? Just bring in 15. <laughs> I'm not going to play Scorn. So if we take, we're going to take out Golgari Queen, Scorn, Paradise Druid, play all of this stuff. That gives me 66 still. Yuck. They're able to start paying stuff, paying for stuff with this, you know, dispute doesn't counter stuff for long. All right, kind of just trimming around the edges. Turn some arrows, dispute, and a casualties with it just being pretty expensive. And we just had two lands. I like the first one much better. Nice. Cool, Valentino. Glad. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've always really liked Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis, but what are you, you know, what kind of decks are you playing it in that you're getting some good success with it? Why do you think Dispute's too narrow? Basically, all their cards are blue-green. And if not, they're cards that are really important to counter, even if you have, even if you spend three mana. It's really important to counter their stuff. Like, you know, Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns, the green finale. Those are cards that, that do a whole lot. Um, whenever they enter, you know, like you really want to counter them. You don't want to let them enter, so even if you remove them right away. Obviously, Ashiok isn't good against Cer Ceratops, but I just don't want to spend my entire turn playing Agonizing Remorse. This will just buy me a little bit of time. 
Hit me into this. Links to the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, you exile on the block. If you attack or block, you exile. Yeah, and I, I can't block because of protection from blue. These are blue. See, Miss Gold Speed would be great. I think I didn't need three ritual upset. Kind of wish I would have had another mystical dispute. Um, but now, seeing that they are bringing in multiple ceratops, maybe I need more. <clears throat> need to put in the sixth casualties, maybe, or the fourth casualties. Oh, I said sixth. If they would scry to the top, then I would attack with the 2 3. Which one's more important to exile? Ceratops or Cavalier? Could be Cavalier. Let's just play this so I have more information. Okay, took an Orzhov enchantment list and stitched it up to fit in Elspeth. I got you. Another Cavalier of Thorns is rough. You know, they put something back on top, I just make them exile it. This is why I want to get rid of the Cavalier of Thorn. This is a good time to get rid of it.
playing. You know, playing with fire a little bit there. Good, got rid of Vanessa. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do four. I'm gonna keep up the ether gust ability. Sure. So they put it down to the bottom. Oh no, make that attack. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so yeah, so put in Orzov enchantment control. I could see that. Yeah, I mean, I've I've always been high on Elspeth. I've always been telling everybody that Elspeth's good. You don't need to convince me that's good. Gross. Hmm. Cool, got rid of another crisis. They have 13 cards left. Is that it? Just 13? I guess they don't have very many. Well, I got 13 in the air right now. We have to do something about that. It's a good auto tap. Keeps me with four blue sources. This curse, this rubbish. I need the god. Looks like you were the We'll make this look easy. This All right, they're down to eight cards. Hey, Radical Guru. Down to seven. Draw trigger here, down to six. All right. We are one and oh. Start that rank back up from Platinum. No, I, I did not put together this this list. Um, yeah, if they would have had the fourth Ceratops, I, I couldn't do anything about it. I mean, I, there's just nothing I could do against another Ceratops. We, are, we got rid of three of them, but they had a fourth one. They would have won that.
Yes, yeah, so this this was a five O list from Magic Online. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I said beating beating ramps always a pleasure. That's true. I know that that little two three token did so much work. It exiled like twenty cards. match not quite do we even have enough basics to get with these fable passages yes we do good Basically using Tamiyo as a gain six. So we'll maybe draw a card. Basically drew a card. With the Uro. <laughs> Remember back when RTR and Cynic was the worst worst guild and blue green did nothing? Man, those were that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Eight years ago or whatever. It's been a long time since blue green hasn't been good. The land shall conquer you. They didn't fall for it. Attacking the Tamiyo. Their own casualties? Come on. Come on. Yeah, disappointed. Yeah, I was also disappointed that they didn't make white better. You know, I thought like, you know, like we got Elspeth. That was exciting. Maybe they'll make white good. But no, then they just print Uro and you know, say Simic, you can get more stuff. The you know, if you look at like the mythics that were multicolor. There's six of them. Four of the six were green. Like two of them were white. All right, so they're doing the, the Simic ramp list. So we'll destroy this creature, this land.
Um. Could just do the other Uro and Grow Spiral, but I think it's better to do this one. If they got, you know, they have removal, they cast it on this thing again. Not enough blue. Hmm. I guess that's not the worst card to draw. More gain three life. Now I'll just put it over there. Basically, I could pay four life to cast Growth Spiral. That's probably not worth it. Yeah, white white did get more playable cards than, than recently, so yeah, they, they did get better. Strange and magnificent world. Ouch. Behold, nature's true power. Ouch. lands. <laughs> I mean, we're still looking pretty good. You know, we got seven cards. They have Nissa. Well, it's another good draw. Doing a good job keeping this overgrown tomb in hand to protect from Ashiok. Never mind. I wonder if you're brave to Check that. Your heroics are but a dream to me. I still, you know, could have bounced and then thought erasure, so it's, it's, you know, we could have got rid of Vanessa still. This has been a really good game, though. It was a pretty close one. Get more fuel.
More fuel for the arrows. Don't really have much blue mana. I will protect the virtue of this world. All right, so they've drawn Nissa, Death Sprout, and to the God Eternal's Nissa. Four in a row. So we're probably coming pretty close to them not the top decking something that great. Awaken. Don't use blue mana. Use all these other colors that aren't blue. Oh, use use these things. Alright, creature, land. Wow, they would have had two more spells in a row. <clears throat> yeah, Simic Ramp versus or Sultai Ramp versus Sultai Mid Range is a good good match. We got this one under wraps. I don't know if I have anything left for this, honestly. Let's see. Nope. Um. So they had, that means that they had nine spells in a row. We talked about the four that they had before and the two that I exiled and then drew Krasis, which drew two spells. They had nine spells in a row there. All right, what do we want against them? I don't think I really need we'll play like one ritual of soot, I guess. Maybe two. I, you know, like I'm boarding. I'm gonna be boarding just like we did this last time, basically. Except for I don't really need epic downfall. All right, how can I fit in more disputes if I want to play more disputes? Like Uro, Tamio. Let's just play six discard spells. Mm. All right, good looking hand.
I need blue mana. Kind of doing the fake. Play different stuff. And be like, oh, I didn't mean to shock in here. Never mind. Had it the whole time. Hey, Emmanuel. So I can grow Spiral plus Ether Gust. So I want to put the Overgrown 2 into play tapped because if we need to, we'll shock in. We need to Ether Gust. went basically perfectly. Discard on two, discard on three, with counterspell on three, grow spiral on four to play Garrick on five. Garug. That was ideal. No, they drew another casualties. Boo. Well, that was not ideal. Wait till next turn and draw three instead of draw two. Then the deck. Now we're both just trying to top deck Krasis, basically. I'm not going to kill the 2-2, because if I kill the 2-2, they draw a card. I'll just destroy the 2-2 later with this ritual set. Perfect. We have even number. So we've done a better job of top teching crisis than our opponent has.
getting rid of Garrick. I don't know, maybe they have, because I took out Tamiyo, maybe they have like Command the Dread Horde or something. Get a crisis. Looks like it. Yep. Give me that crisis. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve. playing budget stuff. I guess I don't have a, a huge plan for budget stuff. You want more jank? I'm at 25 cards in the library. Which cannot protect itself. Gotta be a tad worried about that. The land shall conquer you. That Haven, you can only do that during your turn. Sign up for a big crisis the next turn. Once we got 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Races for 16. Next turn. Yeah, I don't think my opponent's playing Thought Erasure. I'm going to Krasis for 16 before attacking with Uro so that we can put extra land into play.
Not much on that extra land front. And they didn't crack the Fable Passage. Hey, Baloney Pony. Rise, my elemental friend. So I'm at 13 cards. Creature, land. And there we go. This deck's pretty fun. As far as blue green decks go, we're not getting our Nissa's. Casualty to board over and over. Because we're not playing Nissa, we're playing Ashiok. Ashiok's cooler. Awesome, Blowny Pony. You can do it. You can grind a mythic. You got it. You're gonna use Model White Life Gain, Grind of Mythic. Awesome, good luck. There's 27 lands in here. It's a good amount of land. draw a land, wanted to double spell. Thanks, Wazzy. Thank you. I don't love trading Scourge Spitter for Paradise Druid. But I'm considering doing that. With the double block, see if they would, you know, use like another pump spell, try to be able to get, multi, you know, another card out of them. Oh, 
go, Ashiok, go. Ooh. More cards in our graveyard for Uro. But yeah, I'm getting looking for land drops. Alright, Uro's got enough gas. Could mill over Phoenix on their side, like they could be playing Phoenix. Should be worried about that. Take Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, just got gotta get rid of Steamkin. Not let them play like two one mana cards and then add more mana and all the stuff the Steamkin can can do. Okay. So we're gonna cut Paradise Druid again because we're bringing in Ritual of Soot. And then uh, Jace, Tamio. Yeah, I guess it's just both of them. Jace, Tamio. Do I want Epic Downfall? Get rid of Torbran. Casualties already. And my Beether Gust. You think I should need to be boarding out my casualties? The thing about casualties is it, it's a way for me to actually destroy Embercleave. Which I need. I need that. I need ways to destroy Embercleave. We still have Growth Spiral, Uro, those kind of things that are ramping for us. Ether Gust, Rimrock Knight, or Annex. I guess it's Annex. I mean, I don't... It's either Krasis or Garrick, but I... Both of them I like. I like playing Krasis and I like playing Garrick. So it's kind of a tough call. go Garrick, even though this is a worse play against uh, Embercleave. Just with the fact that like if they have Embercleave also, I'm, I'm dead. Well, I do.
play Remorse instead of Garrick. And... Instead of one Casualties. Three casualties is probably fine. Hey, Noxious Girl. I am having a great day. Thank you. You have a day off also? That's great. Hope you're having a... A great day off. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have brought on the downfalls. That's true. Um, Annex, Phoenix, Torbran, Bonecrusher Giant. Do have some targets. Some valuable ones with Annex and Phoenix, certainly. So yeah, I, I should have brought in Downfall. Hopefully that won't be my Downfall. Yeah, the two Ds are... That means it's a donation deck, so that means it's a... Like a viewer donated for that deck. So it wasn't one that I built. Double Rimrock Knight. Let's take the Annex because we can kind of kill the rest with Ritual of Soot. More green. You can go stomp, stomp stage, stomp stage. Yeah, yep, I saw that snake spur. Yeah, you're welcome. Number cleave. So at least they don't get to play Ember Cleave. They are playing this Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, not the tap land. The dreaded tap land. I wanted Ashiok. Get rid of the Bone Crusher Giant for good.
Please don't have Ember Cleave. That's a good sign. There's a land. All right, gained a bunch of life back. I'm not gonna crack the fable passes because I'd like to draw a basic. I don't want to thin. Such a ridiculous amount of life with Uro at this point. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't think they really could have anything to save them. All right, three and O. Oh. We're gonna play one more match, and then move on to the next deck. Here we go. This does seem pretty, pretty strong. Ugh. I'll take it. Again, we got the growth spiral, thought erasure. Um. Friction. Good Thought Erasure. Yeah, four matches with each deck. With these ones in ranked, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's a... Uh, you know, time thing. Um, To make sure we can fit in all the decks. It's kind of awkward of like needing to. Like, we can't casualties and destroy a bunch of stuff, even though like the Nightmare Shepherd's an enchantment, Yar is a creature. So we need to destroy the Nightmare Shepherd first, otherwise, they just get the token of a Yara. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's just better to casualties and to kill a Yara than not kill a Yara. Right, if the, if the options are either kill a Yara or not kill a Yara, I guess it's better.
they get that trigger, but now they just have a 1-1. One, one. And it's also a token if it gets bounced or anything. So I can bounce a Yara and make them exile this other card. So I can get like that two for one, but then I still have to deal with a Shepherd. Um, I kind of like that. It's either that or just bounce the Shepherd, but I actually kind of like doing this. Uh, last card was a Swamp. If I would have bounced Shepherd, you know, obviously they just get exile the Swamp and just replay the Shepherd. <clears throat> but then they wouldn't be able to kill my Ashiok. Um, hey, Yud. Right, gotta do that. Um, just whatever is like a like a four of or more in the deck. I don't really want to draw land. Yeah, you can pick out something else. A different art. sacrificing a land but we need to find something for the shepherd which I guess is casualties of war again or another Ashiok hopefully you know Uro getting us three life a turn with attacking Basically, yuck. what they tap all their mana for? Did they put gutter bones back in their hand? Yeah, it's in their hand. Okay. Now. 
Barry Queen cannot kill either of these creatures. Gosh, it's too many of these. It's too many of them. Yeah, 4-4 four, four flyers don't seem bad, at least. You're doing enough right now, Jace. Sorry. Uh, Jace put stuff in my graveyard to help replay Uros. I suppose. Creature. Enchanting creature. Um, do I want to kill Nightmare Shepherd or Spawn? Yeah, Spawn. Shepherd. Can we gain enough life? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Well, I don't love that it was. Am I not going to have enough cards still to replay Uro? Oh no, I don't, do I? I need one more card in my graveyard. Hmm.
Well, I shocked there so I could replay Uro. But I'm one card short. Because I was going to gain a life with that. You can't kill top... You can Vraska can't kill any of these things. These all have CMC4. Look at the top... 4, 4, 4. Vraska can't kill any of these things. So, because of the Spawn of Mayhem trigger, like, this thing is going to go to be a 3-3. Three, three. I'm taking 8. Plus the trigger from Spawn of Mayhem, 9. So, even if I didn't shock, I'm taking 9. I still would have died. If I didn't shock, I would have died. I'm still taking 9 from that. Alright, so we need Epic Downfalls. Need to exile. Well, spawn does one damage, but then it also gets a plus one, plus one counter because they're under 10 life. That does one damage to me and gets a plus one, plus one counter, so it's an extra two damage. Um... Hmm. I think I want Scorn and I want these Remorses. And I like how Scorn, you know, like we can bounce stuff and then exile. I kind of think it's Paradise Druid again, but I also don't think I really want Ritual of Sets. Like those are those are the cards that definitely thinking about taking out. Hmm. How does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think we can win this with that. Yeah, what I what I could have done. Yeah, one line that I could have taken that I didn't um, is, yes, I could have sacrificed. Get this back. So what I could have done is I, I could have sacrificed, instead of sacrificing the Uro, I should have sacrificed the Paradise Druid. And, uh, you know, obviously have the Paradise Druid add mana, but if I would have sacrificed the Paradise Druid, and then whenever I played the... Uh, the second Uro, because of the legend rule, if I would, I could have sacrificed the one that was on the battlefield, and so that would have put both of them in the graveyard. So I could have gotten another card in the graveyard. Uh, so basically, still could have got the Uro in the graveyard, and I could have got the Paradise Druid in the graveyard, and then I would have been able to replay Uro. But I just didn't realize I was gonna have, I was not gonna have enough cards until it was too late. Um. This is a good hand. It's a really good hand. Yeah, I could have casualty my Ashiok. Also, I would have rather gotten rid of my Paradise Druid than my Ashiok, though. I think Ashiok is more valuable. It's 
Ashiok with the with the tick up was important because then I would have been able to minus three at the next turn to help clear away the other four four. So I needed Ashiok out there too. So I just should have, before I started anything, I just should have counted my graveyard and counted it out, and I didn't do that. So that cost me. Taken four. Must have a good amount of lands in hand. Downfall's a good draw. We can get rid of the Shepherd. So I'm bouncing the Ashia, or sorry, bouncing the Yara so they don't get to uh, sacrifice the Shepherd and draw a card. My inspiration, your heroics are but a dream to me. Cool, Nano Flare. Yeah, you always love Soul Tiger and give the deck a spin. Yeah, let me know how it goes. I've been pretty impressed with the deck so far. Two, three, four, five, six. Last time I asked chat if I should play Stone Coil Serpent over Giant Killer against Blue White Control, and now I'm elated and want to boast. I just fought back from 0-1 against Blue White with Mono White and even bested two Dream Trawlers in Game 3. Thank you, chat, for convincing me about Stone Coil Serpent. 
Awesome. There's there's no Nightmare Shepherd in play. There was a Yara, Zombie Army, and Lazotep Reaver. None of those are Nightmare Shepherd. So there's no enchantment in play. This big advantage over Simic is you get all the, you know, all the discard, you get casualties of war. Ashiok's awesome. Fable Passage definitely make an Uro better. Getting rid of a Yara so they don't just get a, a good block. I guess with me attacking with Hydra... I guess I was going to be dead to Grey Merchant there, wasn't I? Yeah, I would I would have died if they had Grey Merchant. Close games. Both those games were very close. We're going to game number three now. I want more epic downfalls. <laughs> Can I have more than just those two? Rankle is going to be really hard to beat. Would I rather play Soot than over Golgari Queen? Maybe. We'll play one and one with Soot and Golgari Queen. I will take more epic downfalls. The bad news is that's it. We don't get any more. exactly why I'm keeping Golgari Queen, to be honest. Kind of see. I want to discard this Golgari Queen.
We got three other cards. Three, four, five. Yeah, let's keep that. Yeah, it should not have kept that Golgari Queen, but oh well. Um, now next turn I can Fable Passage, which will put the fifth card besides Uro, and then play Uro. Or I can go Gari Queen, kill Priest. Probably no. Probably need to kill Priest, right? Best case scenario would have been play Uro, hit a land drop, and then play Golgari Queen. That would have been really nice. Yeah, I think Esper is probably pretty well positioned. I, I think it's going to be good. You know, like we're about to, we're about to play Esper after this match, after this this game three. So we would not have drawn the land. <clears throat> if we would have gone Uro. And just do bold sacrifice. I'm doing good, Escoria. Doing good. Uh, no, I'm not interested to play Legends of Ruterra. Oh my gosh. No, I, I have no interest in playing Legends of Ruterra. Man, what a what a top deck. I mean, they, they had the castle and everything, but what a top deck. All right, lost to Mono Black. Kind of. A little surprised with the loss, but those flyers were just awesome. Yeah, like they just had tons of those four mana flyers, and they were really good. You know, Rankle. Rankle's just awesome. And the Nightmare Shepherd. Spawn of Mayhem did a lot of work, too. So, well, so we went three and one. Um, yeah, I think that, yeah, this deck felt really good. And, I, you know, I, I think this deck... Um, yeah, basically that's about it. Like this deck really did feel really good. I think that it's a little unfortunate losing that. Like I, I wasn't really that worried about losing that ever until the match was over. Um, I'm not sure about like our sideboard feels like it could be better. Like four dispute. Yeah. Um. I guess that's like the one thing I don't love about the cyborgs for dispute. But maybe maybe that's the card. Maybe that's maybe that's worth it. Maybe that's the card. Um you know, Jace, Tamio, Garrick, they're they're a little out of place, all of them. Like they're they're okay. They could maybe be improved upon. Um Ashiok's just incredible. I could see just playing more Ashiok instead of like I don't know about Jace. Like instead of Jace playing an Ashi like I'd I'd want yeah, like I, I'd rather have uh, Ashiok instead of Jace. Just don't, not that big on Jace. 
But it's possible. I mean, I guess it's it's possible that uh, you can play a long enough game that you can win with Jace, but that's always so hard to do. I'm not sure if I like the Paradise Druids either. We, we board out Paradise Druid every single round because it just kind of seemed less powerful than everything else we were doing. And we still had Thought Erasure, Gross Bar. We still had a good amount of stuff to for turn two. And I, I liked just Agonizing Remorse against, like, everybody. So I, I wonder if the better thing to be doing is just put, like, Agonizing Remorse in the main deck, just take out Gr Paradise Druid. Um... Those, those are some options. I think that's what I may want to do with this. Um, yeah, that is a lot of discard, but if you think about it, like every, there's so much card advantage in Standard that it's not like people run out of cards. So every deck has tons of card advantage. Basically never run out. Like what if the deck just had three Agonizing Remorse, two Ritual of Soot, main deck? That frees up a whole lot of sideboard slots. Could play like a, could play like a couple Narset. Um, you kind of need more Exile, and you need more... I feel like the deck needs, needs more things against Dream Trawler also. So maybe like a couple of Freakas Libation. For Dream Trawler. And then just a third epic downfall. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Cool. Cool. Yeah, like, yeah, Freak's Libation can also deal with, like, uh, you know, as we saw, like, um, Tamio. Yeah, Tamio was, you know, we didn't have anything to deal with Tamio. Those are, like, some changes I would make, but, um, yeah, like, this, this deck felt pretty sweet. We'll have to go back to this one. I liked it. All right, time to move on to the next deck. All right, so those of you all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there, and if you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. Leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Soul Time Midrange, and I will see you for the next video.